course, Mr. Slater. I'd be delighted to open your new ghost train. Yep. We're on our way. Drive on, please, James. Oh, hello there. You're probably wondering why we've got the flags out. Well, the Lady Mayoress is coming to open Mr. Slater's new ghost train ride right here in this, um, um, park. And it's, uh, it's all very exciting. Isn't it, Sue? Oh, yes, very exciting. Oh, hello. <laughs> now, Richard, are you sure the mayoress will notice me in this hat? <laughs> oh, yes, Sue, it's lovely. Do you know, I think your hat is going to be an absolute hit. <laughs> oh, the... careful, I've got a grape in my eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sue. Here. Thank you. Now, I wonder where this came from. Ha-ha! Mm. <laughs> I might have guessed. <laughs> Sooty, be careful! Sooty! Now where's my hat? <laughs> Joe, I always knew Sweep was a banana brain! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you lot! I was just telling everyone the Lady Mayoress is on her way to open Mr. Slater's new ghost train ride! So go on, boys, go and get the bunting put up! Oh, Sue, we're going to look so nice, I'm going to put on my smartest uniform. Ooh. It's true what they say. You've got to dress to impress the Lady Mayoress. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes. I must say, I really do look fantastic. Oh. <laughs> I never get my hair to fall the right way. Like something has just fallen the wrong way. <laughs> oh no, those boys! But what are we going to do about the flags, Richard? Oh, don't worry, Sue. I'll put the flags up. Mind you, I was supposed to be putting up a sign right above the ghost train entrance that says "Welcome the Lady Mayoress." Uh, oh, hello. You can do that for me. <laughs> well, no, and anyway, I haven't actually made it yet. So, uh, what? You can do that for me too. You're experts. I've heard that before. But, oh, well, just make sure you do a good job of it this time. Shall I help you with the flags, Richard? Oh, thank you, Sue. Do you know, there'll certainly be no flagging with us on the job, Sue. <laughs> Sue! Making a sign. Oh. Oh, you are clever, Sooty. Well, get busy because the Lady Mayoress will be here soon. What should you write on the sign? Oh, I don't know. Uh, something like, Welcome the Lady Mayoress. What do you mean, pardon? I said, Welcome the Lady Mayoress. Am I sure? Well, of course I'm sure, sausage brain. Now, I must, Ash, I need to practice wearing my new hat. Oh, yes, 
It is an honour to meet you, Mom. This is our spooky new ride, guaranteed to make you jump. <coughs> oh, it's you, sweet. Did you do the sign? You did? Oh, brilliant. Where is it? Over there. Malcolm, the Lady Mayoress? Who's Malcolm? That's the name of the Lady Mayoress, is it? Oh, honestly, of course she's not called Malcolm, you phone brain. I told you to paint Welcome, the Lady Mayoress. Oh, well, we can't have that thing hanging. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, it's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. Yes, we're all ready to Malcolm the... I mean, welcome the Lady Mayoress. <laughs> What's that? She's on her way. She'll be here any moment. And if we're not ready, I'll get the sack. What? Oh, he's gone. Did you hear that? Mr Slater said the Lady Mayoress is going to be here any moment. But what are we going to do about the sign? What? You can fix it? <whistles> oh. Richard, see the funny side? The only side I want to see, Sue, is the one with the correct words painted on. <laughs> Sweep, are you all right? Sweep! Well... Get off! Look at the state of me! Oh no! It's the Lady Mayoress! She's here! Oh, she can't see me like this! I've got to hide! Quick, Sue, do something! Oh. this up, boys, while I go and meet her. <laughs> Welcome to the park, your magnificent Lady Mayoress. Thank you very much. You're so kind <laughs> and what a what an interesting hat. Oh, why, thank you, Mum. And now, is this the new ghost train I'm going to open? That's right. Follow me. <laughs> May I introduce Sooty and Sweep? Good afternoon, Sooty. Very pleased to meet you. Hello, Sweep. I do hope you enjoy the event. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to congratulate everybody who's been involved on this project. And I have the most enormous pleasure in declaring this new ghost train open for frights. And now, Mum, if you'd like to take the very first ride in our new ghost train, don't worry, I don't think it's too scary. Oh, I'm sure it won't be, Sue. Thank you very much. Well, boys, I think that went rather well. You're right, Sooty. Richard's still hiding inside the ride. <laughs> it's amazing. Do you know, I've never been so frightened in all my life. They've got real live spooks in there. Bye-bye. Oh, hello there. 
Oh, <laughs> sorry about the mess. Mr Slate has put me in charge of opening his new picnic area. Sooty and Sweep are helping me get the flower beds ready. How are you getting on, boys? <laughs> Oi, Sweep, those flowers are supposed to be planted in the ground, not on your head. Come on, boys, get busy. <laughs> to do is sprinkle these sunflower seeds into the flower beds then we'll give them a little drink with a hose pipe and we can head off for lunch off you go oh, oh that's very good right now let's give them a drink so go and turn on the tap okay go and turn on the tap have you turned it on yet you think so what do you mean you think so there's nothing coming out I know it's on now. Oh, let's water the sunflower seeds. You can turn it off now. <laughs> My nose is all wet. Yes, I squirted myself with a hose pipe. All right, all right, sausage brain. I'll go and get myself a towel. We've only just planted the seeds! Imagine if a giant sunflower... Ah! There's a giant sunflower! Hang on a minute. I knew it! I knew it! With a magic wand! Oh. Look, instead of playing tricks, why don't you help me and sweet water these seeds? Sooty, oh. no! No! Sooty, take it off there and do it properly! Don't mess about! Stop! That's very naughty. Stay still, Sweet Santa. That... Oh, my goodness. Get rid of it. Get... Could he do something? I think that's enough watering. That's enough. That's enough. Put your spades in the ground and I'll see you back in the caravan for lunch. Go on. This time, there was no magic to blame. Oh no, Sweep Spade has just burst through the underground water pipe. Oh, no! Oh, no! 
Is your shower working all right, boys? Mine's just stopped working. I can't get any water. But the taps aren't working here either, Richard. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> be a simple explanation. Sorry? What's that? The pipes must be blocked. We should call for a plumber. Hey, you could be right. Yes, yes, yes. A plumber will have this sorted in no time. Hey, see if you can find one on the internet, Sue. Righto. Now, uh, um, here we are, Richard. Call the experts Little Drip Plumbing. Oh, great job, Sue. Right, here we go. Uh, hello, is that Little Drip Plumbing? Hello, yes, it's Richard from Slater's Holiday Park. We seem to have a problem with our water pipes. You send someone over straight away. Oh, that's fantastic. Bye. Oh, no need to worry about a thing. The plumbers will be here any second. Oh, hello. I... Oh, no. You're the little drips, are you? You're experts. You're going to fix the blockage. And how are you going to do that exactly? Watch out what you're doing with that thing. <laughs> What's that? That'll sort it out. Well, I'm going to sort you two out if you don't get that thing out of here! Oh. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Sooty says, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. This brush will shift what's stopping the water, says Sooty. If only he could see the trouble it was causing at the other end. things up. He can be such a sausage brain. Yes, I know. I mean, when it comes to plumbing, he's not so much a little drip as a big drip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. What are those boys doing? Now, this shouldn't be here. Right. <laughs> Oi, I want a word with you two plumbing experts. There's still no water anywhere. Yes, there is. What do you mean, yes, there is? Over there. Over <gasps> oh, no! The picnic area! This was why we didn't have any water. Your spade must have cut through the pipe when you put it down. You'll fix it. Go on then, Mr. Expert. Ah! Now what are we going to do? We can't open the picnic area in there. Excuse me, no one's playing your water park. Water park? Yeah, the water park. How much is it, please? No, no, this isn't a water park. Some of the pipes have been broken. What found? There you go. Come on, kids. Nice one, something. Hang on a minute. This isn't a water park. Hello? Oh, Mr. Slater, you've heard the news? It was a really good idea of mine to turn the picnic area into a water park. There could be a promotion in the pipeline. Oh, hi. If only he knew. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, hello there. This is Mr Slater's new space ride, and it's out of this world. Oh, come on. Get yourselves on there. That's right, you're tall enough. And so are you. Take your seats. <laughs> oh, hello, boys. 
What's this? Oh, it's the new space ride. When you're on it, it really feels like you're flying to Mars in a rocket. It's brilliant. <laughs> hey, can you have a go on it? Oh, I'm sorry, Sooty, but look, you're just not tall enough. Please. I'm sorry, boys, but Mr. Slater would give me the sack if I let you on. I'm sorry, you're just too small, so there'll be no flying to space today. There you are, Sooty. Oh, hello there. In case you're wondering, Sooty has decided he wants to fly to Mars, so he's built his very own rocket. What's that? Just a few more checks and you'll be good to launch. <gasps> wow! How exciting! What's going on in here? Top secret? Hello, can I come in, please? I can only come in if I know the password. Well, what is the password? <laughs> sausages. All right, sausages. <laughs> come in. Anti-radiation wave meter installed. Anti-gravitic anomalizer recalibrated. Uh, Sooty, what are you up to? Oh, hello, Richard. Don't speak to Sooty. He's really busy at the moment. Yes, I can see that. Um, Sooty? I say Sooty? <coughs> Sooty! Sooty! Ow! Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're building a space rocket so you can fly to Mars? <laughs> wow! Can I come with you? No? Well, why not? <coughs> Don't tell me, I'm too tall. All right, one all, smarty pants. Anyway, I'm a little bit worried about you going into space by yourself. I mean, it's very dangerous out there. How will you protect yourself from unfriendly aliens? You've got a supersonic space ray gun? <laughs> a supersonic space ray gun? <laughs> well, that's not going to be any good. It's just a toy and how... Don't do that! Sweep, bring forth the loading ramp. You're trapping his little head. Take it away. Ow! Now it's on my fingers. Look, stand away, bone brain. I'll do it myself. There we are, Sooty. There's your little ramp. So this is it, is it? You're really off? Oh, Sooty, you be careful. I'm going to miss you. How will I know if you've landed on Mars safely? I can contact you via the satellite link. Oh, that's marvellous! All I need is some headphones with a microphone attached. Oh, go and fetch those then. Well, that's good. You oh! Thank you very much. Well, let's just put them on. There we are. Oh, stop! Stop doing that! Thank you very much. T minus 20 seconds to blast off. Oh, so this is it. Goodbye, my brave little friend. Take care, Sooty. Is there anything I can do to help, Sue? Yes, Richard. Here's a list of the important questions you need to ask Sooty before we start to launch. You can talk to him once the satellite link goes live. Right. T-minus, 15 seconds. Are you receiving me over? Is there anything dangerous to report in the area? Let's prepare for blast-off. Right. <laughs> oh, sweet, be careful. Stand by, Richard. Putting you through to Sooty. You're live. Uh. I'm over-receiving this, and I've done something dangerous in my area. Ready for blast-off! Five, four, three, two, one... Take cover! Hold on a minute, wait for me! Where am I going to take cover? Wait! No. Take me to your leader. Sooty, it's me, Richard. 
You've just left a twit on Earth called Richard. I am the twit on Earth called Richard. And as a matter of fact, you're still on Earth because your rocket hasn't gone anywhere. The rocket seems to have malfunctioned. No launch today. <laughs> Just launch the rocket, you bone brain! Where's it heading to, Sooty? Straight for Mr. Slater's portable toilet! Quick! Oh, oh, dear. oh dear, he looks a little flushed. <laughs> oh, never mind, Sooty. You'll just have to build another space rocket. Quizzy, let's get busy! Hooray! <laughs> Sooty, will that actually fly to Mars? It certainly will, and what's more, you'd like us to all come with you! Oh, yes, please! <laughs> yes, please! Yes. Come on, what are we waiting for? Wow! <laughs> oh, come on, Sooty, make me look like an astronaut! <laughs> Excuse me, but I am an astronaut. <laughs> More like an astronaut. Ha ha ha, very funny, and you can stop laughing, Sue. Oh, I'm sorry, Richard, but you do look like a jacket potato. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, Sooty, prepare for blast off to Mars. Come on, gang, all into the toilet. Oh, I mean, rocket. Yet. We've only just taken off. <laughs> Sooty, according to your calculations, we should be arriving on Mars very shortly. <laughs> you did it, Sooty, and in record time. Oh, how romantic to think the first teddy bear in space. Yes. Oh, oh just think, we're entering the Mars atmosphere now. <gasps> how exciting! Well, guide us down, Captain Sooty. Sooty, is it safe? It is safe, but I've got to go first. All right then, come on gang, let's make history. This is one small step for man. Oh, you just trod on my line. I trod on your foot. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, just think, boys, isn't Mars such an amazing place? We are the first people to tread on alien sand to look up at alien skies. Not now, Sooty. Do you know, you're the first to explore the final frontier. Oh, so not now, Sooty. Just think. We are the first to tread on alien soil to look over at alien birds circling alien skies. Yeah. That was just like a seagull. It was a seagull. You don't think we've made it to Mars? Oh, we've only made it as far as the beach. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. That's not a toilet. That's our spaceship. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye. Oh, hello there. I'm just having my breakfast. Cheers. Pesky flies. Ah! Oh, what's going on here? Get out of it. 
What? What's this all about? What the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, so it was you lot, was it? I might have guessed. Sooty, I've told you before, do not land planes on people's toast. You were practicing for the Junior Flyers Club. <laughs> Junior Flyers Club? Well, you need a much bigger plane than this for a start, and you need to do it without crashing it into people's breakfasts. <laughs> oh, yes, to be in the Junior Flyers Club, you have to be something special. You have to be able to perform spectacular stunts and maneuvers that will really knock your socks off. Yes, or your underpants, Richard. <laughs> Hey, those are my underpants. What are you doing? <laughs> Come here, with you. give me those. Sooty, I've got to wear those pants today. Sooty. Richard's really got his knickers in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Sooty, I say Sooty. Sooty, ah! Sooty, stop playing with this a minute. Why am I dressed like a smarty pants? Well, it just so happens that Mr. Slater has put me in charge of the Junior Flyers Club today, which is why I'm dressed like a pilot. Thank you. Oh, right. Come on. Let's go, boys. Hang on a minute. Where do you think you lot are going? To the Junior Flyers Club, of course. Ha, ha, ha. I've told you before. You can't join the Junior Flyers Club. You haven't got a proper model plane. Anyway, I'm going to be late, so be good, and I'll see you later. You were looking forward to going to the Junior Flyers Club. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that was I, Sweep. Yes, Sooty, we still can. Mm. What do you mean? You heard, Richard, we don't have a proper plane, Sooty. <coughs> oh, 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 the magic wand. Mm. <laughs> Good thinking, Sooty. Easy, Wizzy, let's get busy. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's explore! Concord! One of the fastest planes ever! Yes, and fighter jet! Oh, I like this one! You wonder if we could fly that one over there? Oh, yes! Wouldn't that be fun? What are you up to, Sooty? Easy, Wizzy! Let's get busy! We're going to fly it ourselves! <laughs> this will show Richard and the Junior Flyers Club. Come on! Flying pilot! Oh, it's my phone! Oh, it's Mr. Slater! <laughs> Hello, sir! Oh, yes, the Junior Flying Club is going really well. It better go well or I'll get the sack. Oh, don't worry, sir. I think it'll really take off. <laughs> take off! <laughs> oh, he's gone. <sighs> oh, how exciting! Take off and buckle up, okay? Oh. Ah! We're taking off backwards! We're taking off backwards! Oh, those pesky boys, they haven't a clue what they're doing. We should be going forwards! <laughs> yes, sweet! That is the Eiffel Tower! Hello down there! Oh, what a nice man! Yes! And the Taj Mahal! Hello! <laughs> and a warm hello to you too! <laughs> yes, it does look cold down there! Hello! <laughs> 
Sooty Sweep and Sewer at home behaving themselves for a change. Oh, I'm quite thirsty. Sweep! Sweep! <coughs> oh, please could you fetch me a glass of milk? Oh, I think I could get used to this. The sunshine, the clouds and the steady turn. Of the... <coughs> oh, sweep! It's all over my dress. Get me some more. Thank you. Oh, the sight of the earth from this high up is truly breathtaking. You know, for some people, their glass is always half empty. But I am definitely a panda whose glass is half full. Oh, sweet! My milk's all over the floor. Would I like a straw? No, I would not like a straw sausage brain. I would like my milk in a glass, please. <laughs> you know, it's very hard to be angry with that dozy dog when you're this relaxed. I mean, cruising high in the sky like a mighty bird. was a glass of milk and what I've got is alarm bells in my ears. <laughs> you think there's a problem with the engine? Oh, well, in that case, why don't you try giving it a drop of oil? <laughs> God, that dozy dog. I don't think I'm ever going to get a drink. Oh, well, at least I can enjoy the view. The mountains. Oh, the oceans. Sweet. Hang on. Sweet. Doing? You're oiling the engine? I was joking, you nincompoop! Come back inside this minute! Sooty. Do you know what's wrong with the plane? We're running out of fuel. We're going to have to make an emergency landing. But, oh no, we're going to land right on top of Richard's Junior Flyers Club. Quick, get back to the control, Sooty. Sweet, we need to warn Richard quickly. Call him. You can't. Why not? You're out of minutes. Oh, well, text him then. Quickly. Oh, what a perfect day. Oh, I've got a text message coming through. Ah, it's from Sweep. Hello, Rick. How are you, lol? <laughs> P.S. Don't look up. Eh? Don't look up. Oh, no, it's you three, is it? What have you been up to? You've flown round the world and you've come home for tea? Yes, and you said Sooty couldn't fly a plane, but he's just proved it. Well, that was a pretty impressive landing, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you join the flying club now? Well, why not? Yippee! <laughs> oh, no, not that thing again. No! Oh, 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 oh,
stop it, stop it. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 to relax from the stresses and strains of a rainy day than with a nice warm bath. Oh yes, the warm water, the soapy bubbles and the dripping. Wait a minute, dripping? Oh no, the roof's leaking! When Richard finds out the caravan's leaking, he's not going to be very happy. The rain makes him grumpy at the best of times. Yes, that's true. What is it, Sweep? You found a leak in the kitchen. <laughs> not that sort of leak sausage brain. Try this. I've been trying to plan to catch the water. Yeah, yeah. That should keep Richard happy. I am not happy. I think I spoke too soon. Oh, hello there. Do you know, I hate the rain. Hello. Oh, hello, gang. Mr Slater's having closed the park. That rain is torrential. Yes, it is. Do you know, I can still hear the sound of rain in my ears. It's almost like it's raining in here. <laughs> it is. There's a hole in the bedroom ceiling. <laughs> All right. Hang on, what did you just say? There's a hole in the bedroom ceiling. Oh, no! That's all we need. A leaky roof on a rainy day. You put the pans there to catch the rain. Well, that's very good. But what are you going to do when they fill up? Stop! Well, that's no good, is it? We're going to have to call the repairman. Come on! Mind you, I'm not sure a repairman's going to want to come out on a miserable day like this. No. Hey, you'll fix the leaks. You're experts. Oh, no, we've heard that before. You'll start with the leak in the bedroom and you'll fix the leak in the bathroom. What leak in the bathroom? Excellent, boys. Get to it. Hang on a minute. What leak in the bathroom? This gets worse. Richard, all you do is moan, moan, moan. Now, Sooty will fix it, so come on. It's only a little bit of rain. But I hate the rain, Sue. It's so wet. Oh, it's still leaking a bit, though, Sooty. 
What's that? One more splash should do it. Oh, good. Oh, I can't wait to have a drip-free bath. Okay, here we go then. Three, two, one. Ah ah! Oh dear. Sorry, sweep. Are you all right? You got splattered. Well, but he was aiming for a big drip. <laughs> Richard, at least it's not raining indoors, thanks to Sooty and Sweet's repairs. Sue, I don't want to spend the whole afternoon cooped up in the caravan. Hey, why don't we play charades? Oh. oh, yes, wonderful. I do love a good game of charades. Oh, oh go on, Richard, it'll be fun. Oh, all right, anything to help pass the time. But you have to promise to stop moaning, Richard. You've been a right moaning mini. I have not been a moaning mini. In fact, but you can't make it through charades without moaning about something. Of course I can. Do you promise? Yes, all right, I promise. <laughs> Just listen to that terrible Richard? rain pounding on my... Richard? Hey? Oh, not moaning. Not moaning. Good. Now, Sooty, you go first. Remember the rules? Sooty's got to act out a job, and we all have to guess what kind of job it is. OK? Off you go, Sooty. <laughs> um, swaying... Uh, a sea captain. <laughs> well, Sooty, I'm stumped. Come on, what are you supposed to be? A bus driver. Eh? Who's a circus clown in his spare time? <laughs> a bus driver who's a circus clown in his spare time? Less of the bowing, that's ridiculous. How are any of us supposed to get that? No. Now, Richard, remember your promise. Eh? No moaning? Oh, of course, sorry. Moaning me, no. Just listen to that awful rain. Richard! Hey. Not moaning. Not moaning. What's going on? Oh, no, now there's a leak in the kitchen ceiling. Uh, Richard! Your promise. My promise? No moaning? But there's a ceiling Come leak. Come on now, Richard. A promise is a promise is a promise. Oh, yes. A promise is a promise is a promise. I mean, why should I moan? I can stand here and eat my lunch, can't I? Who ever cared about a sprinkling of water? I mean, who cares if there's a great downpour of water? We not me. I love all that me. I just love it. I mean, who cares if I can eat my lunch? I mean, just as much as the bread is soggy, I can have a salad. In fact, I can even wash the salad myself. I can have a shower. See, it's great. I can drink my coffee. And if it's too hot, I can fill it up. It can cool it down. Who cares? It's just water. And if I want to read the paper, it's all good. I can check the weather forecast. Oh, look at that. It's going to rain. That's absolutely brilliant because I just love it, me. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm not moaning at all. In fact, I'm going to phone the plumber right now. Hello? Is that the plumber? Hello? Yes, can you come round and fix our leak? Three months? Oh, that's no problem. No, I'm not being sarcastic. You take your time. Goodbye. See, I'm not moaning me. Not moaning at all. So, can I just have one tiny, itty, witty little moan, please? Yes, well, we'll allow you one, Richard, yes. I'm not one to draw attention to this or moan, but there's a huge hole in the ceiling! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I do hope this hasn't dampened your spirits even more, Richard. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's so wet in here, we may as well be outside. Do you know what? You might be right. Hee hee. Hee hee. 
everybody, we're open again. Come on in. Have fun, everyone. Well, playing in the rain was fun, but I'm really glad it's sunny again. Yes, I agree, Richard. And from now on, I am not going to moan about a drop of water. No. Stop! 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 <laughs> no, Richard, no moaning. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye.